Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, March the 5th. It's year two, it's week two in Lent and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 64 and 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 21. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and prayer and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain, and guard my life from dread of the foe. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain, and guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords, and they aim bitter words like arrows to shoot at the innocent from ambush shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course, and they conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? God will search the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot an arrow at them and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then all the world will feet, and they will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. They will rejoice in God the Most High and fly to God for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the wicked. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings, so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as those sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we are in disrepute. To the present hour, we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I'm not writing this to make you ashamed but to admonish you, my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. And I appeal to you then, be imitators of me. For this reason, I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere, in every church. But some of you, thinking that I am not coming to you, have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, 
and I will find out not the talk of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. What would you prefer? Am I to come to you with a stick, or with love, in a spirit of gentleness? Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, we pray for your holy church. Fill it with all truth and peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it where it is an error directed, where in anything it is amiss, reform it, where it is right, strengthen it, and where it is in want, provide for it, where it is divided, reunite it, and all for the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Savior. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.